from Hung Station today and we're actually getting a train to Ayatia and we're gonna stay there for a few days and see what happens. Okay, we're next. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. To Ayatia. Thank you. off the train here at Utica station and we're gonna head towards our accommodation. So we've actually arrived in really really good time and we pretty much have all day. So we're just gonna walk around, see what we see today and then tomorrow all being well we're gonna rent a few bikes and just cycle around the whole kind of area and kind of do a wee bit of exploring then. Everywhere is just old ruins, but it is just absolutely amazing to see. And now the sun's coming down, everything looks unbelievable. This morning we are out exploring around Ayutthaya. We were able to get a couple of bikes off our accommodation host and our host was also able to give us a map of kind of the whole town and to mark out in the map where the best places are to go check out. So there's six main kind of temples and locations here we're going to go hopefully explore the day. So hopefully we'll make it around the mall. This morning we've just been kind of cycling around and getting lost a wee bit. So we're actually going to go start our wee mission to kind of see these six different locations now. So hopefully all goes to plan. Ayutthaya was actually a capital city and a major trading point here in Thailand that kind of existed from the early 13th century to the late 17th century but today it is completely ruined it is just loads and loads of old ruins which is amazing to walk around and kind of explore but it is kind of like mad to see at the same time it has also now been approved as a world heritage site and it is such a cool place to stop off in your travels around Thailand I would definitely say if you can spare a few days come and check it out it is an amazing place place just to walk around. There's old ruins of Buddhas absolutely everywhere but they're all broken up so they've been placed together a wee bit randomly but some of them are absolutely ridiculous. They do not match up at all. Like this one is my favourite by far. <laughs> How does that body match them legs? <laughs> Nearly. Gives me a good laugh though. <laughs> they've given this one a head. Yeah, it is so hot today. Definitely the hottest I think it's been this entire time. Give me some of that. Oh, it's so nice. Safety first. Imagine we lost the bikes from the accommodation. But it's all good. We got our bikes. As we were cycling up to this next ruin, we actually spotted the people were inside the temple up at the top here, which we haven't been able to do so far, so I'm really excited to get inside.
we have just arrived at Wat Yai Chang Mong Hall. Well done. I'm gonna go for that, that was pretty good I think. I um, have no idea if that's right or not, but like, I think that was pretty good, I'm proud of that. It took us about maybe 15, 20 minutes to cycle here um, on the bikes. We put it into the maps and the road looked like pretty good and we thought, this is grand, we'll just take it a wee cycle, it'll be lovely. And it just got really intense really quick, so we just pushed on anyway and we got here, which is the main thing. So it's now time to explore around here for a wee while. A lot of the Buddhas have different styles to them and a lot of the other ancient sites that we've been to today all have like flat faces on the Buddhas whereas the ones at this site have like pointed noses so I think this must be a newer site but I'm not 100% sure. Let's go read some signs and find out. Let's do it. <laughs> History! <laughs> <laughs> Far too heavily for this. It's warm, it's hot, it's sweaty, and we are knackered. <laughs> Let's use all of those excuses. <laughs> Today definitely feels like it has been the warmest day since we've arrived in Thailand. It is so so warm and we've spent so much of the day just looking for shade, looking for water, and just trying to cool down. <laughs> it is absolutely boiling. Go on Ashley, you can climb up there. All the way to the top. What do you think? got out of breath on the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> the way up here. With your balance I would not trust you either. <laughs> yeah maybe I'll sit on you. has been absolutely gorgeous and really peaceful but we have to keep going because this morning we actually paid for a ticket to let us into six different temples and at the moment we've only been to three so we gotta keep going. <laughs> keep going, get our value for money. <laughs> exactly. We found a turtle. There's another one. He's oh, definitely a turtle. That's a big oh that's a big fish that one. Oh yeah look He's there's another turtle. He's got red eyes. He has. Look at him. Put the head in this one. Hey little buddy. Hello Mr. Turtle. Oh, uh, check out all these turtles, man. Oh, come on, are you coming over? Come on. Oh, look at them go. Oh, oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> I want to go get some banana and stuff. Okay, so we got slightly distracted. We were coming over the bridge to head back to the bikes and we looked down the river and there was turtles everywhere. So we went down for a closer look and they were actually trying to get out of the water and oh my God, it was just absolutely amazing. I love turtles like more than anything in the world. I think turtles are the coolest animal ever. We had to pull ourselves away to go to the other temples but it was absolutely amazing. I already was thinking this was maybe one of my favorite sites so far just because it was so peaceful but the turtles have completely topped it off. So if you're coming, make sure to go over to the river and have a wee nosy for some turtles. <laughs> We've arrived at our next destination. Woo! Is it open? That's the question. There is nobody about though. So it closed at four. We're too late. That's a bit of a shame. It took us like, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes to cycle here. And it was a hard push and we were really like pushing hard to get here before it closed. We were thinking it might have closed at five or maybe half five. So we didn't make it by a long shot. <laughs> so I don't know whether to crack on and try to see can we get another one maybe in before half five. But if this one closed at four, there's maybe a good chance they all close around four and it is getting or will be getting dark soon and we don't have any lights in our bikes so the sensible thing might be just to head back towards the accommodation. 
but I've lost Ashling, so I need to go find her first. I can't believe it's closed. It looks like it's like a reasonably modern temple too. Yeah, that's true. And it's our first white temple we've visited. Or should have visited. Maybe next time. Expected. The last two temples are actually closed because we spent a little bit too long looking at the turtles, which I don't really mind to be honest. But we've come by to look at them anyway. Oh wait, <gasps> the last one's open. But it is surrounded by stray dogs. They're getting too close for my leg, am I? Okay, maybe we'll only see it from afar. Oh look at its wee puppies though. Okay. okay, we'll keep going. We can go look at it from the road. Oh, you're so cute though. He is lovely there, isn't he? You're like a little scrappy do. Okay, so we got chased by the dog. So we're going to see it from a different angle. Also check out the sun, it is pure red. Pure red, just like Ashley. <laughs> You've got some color of the day. I swear to God. <laughs> This is not okay. I realized about maybe an hour and a half ago that I was burnt alive and You're so red looking. No, I'm dripping sweat and need to get water into me ASAP. This you need loads okay. of water. See the others behind you? You blend in. <laughs> You're not funny. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. The cycling has absolutely taken it out of us today. We are both shattered, our legs are tired, and we are sweating. But it has been absolutely amazing just cycling around, and there's been so much to see. Like So much to see. It's like, not just these sites. There's no. so much more to Udia than I expected. I reckon we can squeeze in one more thing before it actually gets dark, definitely, do you think? Yeah. Definitely, we're making our way back towards the accommodation because we know it's, def it's getting a wee bit darker now. Yeah. So I think we've time for one more yeah, thing. Yeah, there's a big statue or sculpture of an elephant like five minutes over the road or five minutes through the park here. So we're gonna go check it out maybe and see what it's like. So it actually got dark really quick. So we actually ended up not going to see the elephant statue and just coming to pick up some food. We're right in the side of the street. Um, we've got some noodles. I've we got pig. pig and you've got cow. <laughs> yeah, pig and cow. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Every meal we get, there's a new vegetable or something that I've never seen before. Today it's this thing. And, oh, oh. Okay. There's a lot of flavors going on in this bowl, so I'm not too sure. Oh. <laughs> so I'm not. <laughs> Go on, you can get them. So I'm not too sure what he actually tastes of, but it's quite good. We've had such a great time here. Today has been absolutely amazing. Dinner was unreal. Um, we've just got a few bits and pieces. We're gonna head back to the apartment because we're up early in the morning. We're actually getting a train from here back to Bangkok and then we're heading on west, I think. But we'll worry about that later. 